Okay, so that took about 12 hours to propagate. It can take up to two days, but uh, usually doesn't take that long. And both of my domains are working. And I can go to HTTPS, but it shows as not secure. And so the reason is because I need to get certificates and install them into Apache. So there's a bunch of different places where you can get certificates, but uh, um, many places charge for them. And here's one that's free. So there's a place called Zero SSL. So I'm going to go to HTTPS colon slash slash zero SSL dot com. And uh, this is part of Let's Encrypt, which is sponsored by the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And uh, their certificates are widely accepted. So all the major browsers take them. And uh, I'm going to use the online tools for this. And I'm going to go ahead and start free SSL certificate wizard. And I'm just going to walk through these steps. So. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an identity. And we're going to go ahead and I'll use my email address. And uh, I'm also going to register my first domain. So we're going to go ahead and say um, cis133w.xyz. And I'm going to leave both of these blank. And I'm going to accept the zero SSL terms of service and also accept the Let's Encrypt service agreement. And I only want HTTP verification. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And we're going to also include the www prefix. So that's www.cis133w.xyz. So it's generating a certificate signing request. And my CSR has been granted. Please copy or download your CSR. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the download button. There's my CSR.txt. And that's going to be in my downloads folder. And then I'm going to hit the next button. It's generating an account key. So here's my account key right here. And I'm going to go ahead and download that as well. And hit next. So it registered my key and I have an ID. You can make note of that ID if you want. So now I have to go through a, a fairly long list of steps. So to verify domain ownership, um, I'm going to need to create a web root, which is my ZAMP htdocs folder, and then create a dot well-known folder under there and an Acme challenge directory under that. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Windows Explorer. And let me squish this down a bit. And I'm going to go to my htdocs. And create a new folder called dot well dash known. Let's try that again. Dot well dash known. Um, so it doesn't actually like it when you do this in Windows Explorer. So let's go to a command shell and I'm going to, going to cd c colon zamp htdocs make dear dot well dash known and that works so here's my well-known folder cd into there and then make dear what was it called? Acme Challenge.
and then that's where I'm going to store the texts. So here's a domain file and uh, whoops I didn't want to do that. Let's hit download and then this file I want to move into that well-known Acme challenge and then another one and this also goes into Acme challenge and then I'm ready for the next step so So now 0SSL is fetching those documents from my web server and in order for that to work my IP address has to be public and my domain name has to point there and 0SSL uh, has to get that latest IP address. So it worked here. So my certificate is ready. There's going to be some directions. So first thing I'm going to do is my domain certificate. I'm going to go ahead and download. And then my domain key already. Actually, let's go ahead and download that domain key. And then now what I want to do is go back to XAMPP. And the configuration files live in Apache folder. So Apache conf and then you'll see ssl.cert, ssl.csr, ssl.key. So that's where I'm going to put these files. Um, but before I do that I'm going to rename them so they're associated with this particular domain. So I was just doing CIS133W So I'm going to rename this cis133w.xyz.csr and then my account key that's going to be mark.goodman.key and then the domain cert is going to be cis133w.xyz.crt and the domain key is going to be cis133w.xyz.key so now the CSR goes into here and the CRT goes into here and the key goes into there and then this thing is just used to verify your identity um, so keep that somewhere safe but you don't need to put it in your Apache um, configuration anywhere. So now that I have the correct keys and certs um, I'm going to go ahead and under extra there's a file called httpd-ssl.conf and I'm going to edit that with notepad++ actually this one might be okay nope yeah so this is listening on port 443 and I'm going to scroll down until I see a virtual host which is right here and uh, to make this a little easier to see and copy, I'm going to get rid of all the comments. So comments start with hash sign. So I'm going to get rid of all the comments. This is all one line. 
Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. So down to here. And then that stuff. And we'll get rid of this as well. Okay, so that's all the comments gone. So this defines a virtual host. And a virtual host has a server name. So the server name is going to be cis133w.xyz colon 443. And uh, we'll go ahead and say mark.goodman at pcc.edu. So same error log, same transfer log. So now we get to the certificate file. And for server.cert, I'm going to replace that with this. So let me copy that file name. And the certificate key file is going to be this one. And with any luck, that should be everything. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to stop Apache. And then start it up again. Okay, so let's see if it worked. It doesn't look like it did because I'm not showing ports anywhere. That could just be because Netstat died before. Um, let's go ahead and refresh here. Okay, I'm going to assume it worked for now. Let's go ahead and try it. First, I'm going to load from the IP address. And now I'm going to reload. Boom. So it says HTTPS and it's secure and I have the green lock. So that one's done. But now if I go 233W, it's still not secure. So I need a separate certificate for 233W.